Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the incoming acting president, Balega Mbete, for having been courageous enough to take a decision allowing the cigarette ballot to take place in this place today. Many in the ANC, including the officials of the ANC, have told them not to engage on issues of cigarette ballot, but to offer an open ballot. She went against the wishes of the officials of the ANC. We salute her for that. We are not here today to remove a democratically elected government of the ANC, which was voted for by our people in 2014. Whether we like it or not, we must at all times respect the wish of the people. And that's why we are here to make it very clear that ours today is not against the ANC, but against the father of Duduzani. We are here to remove Duduzani's father because Duduzani's father is the most corrupt individual in this country. I want to say to the comrades in the ANC, we warned you about Nkandla, and you did not listen to us when we spoke about Nkandla. In 2016, you lost some of the metros, and your response was, you should have acted better on Nkandla. Your response was, you could have handled this matter differently, and you committed that you are going to improve after those outcomes. From August 2016 till to date, there is no single improvement. You have degenerated further. You have become worse than before the 3rd of August 2016. And now, can you imagine what is going to happen in 2019 if you are continuing the way you are uh, going to continue here today? We want to say to you, we are not questioning whether the president has got powers to appoint a cabinet or reshuffle it, but we have a problem with a cabinet that gets reshuffled by people who are not elected. Because if a cabinet is reshuffled by the Guptas, then we know that the president is no longer executing his responsibility. We are rising against the Guptas who are reshuffling cabinet. We are rising against the Guptas who are appointing the boards in ESCOM, in PRASA, in Transnet, in SABC, in SAA. We are rising against the Guptas who have ensured that our economy is downgrading, that our economy is in recession. We are rising against those who have surrendered the people's power into a family of foreigners. That's what brings us here today. If the president had executed his responsibilities and respected his oath of office, we will not be here today. We will never call for removal of an elected president who respects his oath of office. So stop misleading yourself. Stop telling yourself a lie. The vote is secret. Your conscience will remain with you. You know we are telling the truth. We want to say to Honorable Kensan, you are doing very well in the energy department. We are unable to say so because of the things you said during Nkandla. You are writing your own history as you sit here. Even when you are going to perform better in future, we will have a difficulty because of the wrong history you have written. All of you sitting here individual, Honorable Deputy President, you are writing your own history. Honorable you will member, be judged according to the history expired. of written for yourself. I'm saying to Stelan Daveni, all expired. of you, these people Malema. will not be here when Honorable you are this member. side. Protect your future, Stella, by voting about to design out Honorable of power. Honorable ANC, your time has expired. vote Zuma.